This journey has been pretty rocky, but I think it's been amazing. I've had a chance to really push my artistry, and I'm really proud that I've gotten out of my box that I've been in for so many years and got to explore different sides of myself that I didn't even know I had. Before this competition, I was working five days a week in drag, hosting shows, performing outside on patios and grocery stores. Wherever there was a check, I was performing. I think my biggest inspiration with my drag and like my drive is my mother and my little brother. Right before COVID, my house got destroyed during Hurricane Harvey. So I moved back in with my mom because she needed help with bills and stuff like that. And during COVID, we were just kind of destroyed. Like she couldn't work. If it wasn't for drag, we weren't able to pay our bills. Like I fully worked five, six days a week. All of that paid for everything that we had. And I ended up getting this commercial just out of nowhere. And that was like the beacon for my family. And that sustained us for like a while. So my drag has literally saved my family's life. We've been like almost at the point of like being homeless. They're my biggest cheerleaders and they keep me wanting to be better. I am the first bearded drag queen to make it to the finale. I'm the first big girl to make it to the finale. Everything that I do with my drag, I'm only doing it to inspire someone because I never had anyone to inspire me. I think that I should take this crown because I've worked my ass off and I've showed so many different sides of what my creative mind has. I feel like I've given you funny, I've given you beauty, I've given you my version of scary. There's no one like me, there's only one Blackberry. I am the next drag super monster.